everybody. Welcome back to the Cobblestone Chronicles. As always, this is Zuljin. So, I uh, kept retracing my steps over on the last episode, guys, into areas that we had already been. So I came down to the Sunset Station, saved my spawn point at the bed there, and just started heading behind it. And I uh, saw a little mountain range, and decided that I was going to explore it a little bit. And it looks like I'm just getting into some good stuff here. I'm glad I started recording. I figured I was deep enough and something would happen sooner or later. Kept hearing some zombie noises and things. Now you'll see all these cobblestone floating. I am full to the gills with stuff right now. My tools are almost broken, but I figured that would be interesting. <laughs> So, what I'm going to do here, I guess, is bucket my way down. That would probably be easiest. There we go. Let's see. I don't want to hit this lava. And it looks like a lot of that is... Ooh! Looky there! I wonder if that's the same abandoned mine shaft that we have near the spider spawners. Well, at any rate, it's worth looking into. So, let's kill this guy here. And I can always remove cobblestone, you guys. And as it is, as far as tools go, I can easily just make some iron tools out of a forge. Heck, I even have enough wood down here to, uh, to make a chest and save it if we have to up top. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh man, you know what? The tracks in this place are going to make me really, really want to free up some inventory space. I really hate to move all that cobblestone, but it might be worth it. Okay, I'll tell you what. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make a chest here. I don't know if I'll ever spot this again, but if I do, it'll be worth it. So let's just do a workbench. And let's make a chest. Alright. And go ahead and make my chest here. And I'll just I gotta I gotta do something with it, you guys. You know, I could just throw it down and let it despawn, or it can be here for the rest of the game, and I'll see it sooner or later. Okay. Well, for sure, we definitely going to want a stone pick now, or an iron pick. Yeah, let's do a furnace right quick. Did I? Yeah. Oh, uh, I want some cobblestone, golly. I'll take 164 stacks. And let's make a furnace out of that. Do I have any coal? Man, I don't even have coal. I have just been skipping over all of it, I guess. Well, I know what I can burn. Actually, let's take these last two. Make sticks. I'll make a little axe. Now we're cooking with gas. Guess what? This is gonna be our fuel to make some iron tools. Oh yeah. <laughs> you gotta love abandoned mine shafts. You get to be so resourceful underground. Uh oh, there was a torch hiding there. I think I just heard a spider. And it's probably not a normal spider. It's probably a cave spider. Let's see, that's two. I'm going to make us a few more, you guys, so that I can do a, a shovel and a pick. And that'll probably be sufficient. Let's grab a little bit more wood here. There we go. like we're all set with iron for now. I'm not going to use any more wood. 
I'll let it burn through the last bit of iron. There we go. And now we can make a few tools. Let's see. I already got. I'm gonna do a pick and a shovel. As backup. There we go. Iron pick and an iron shovel. And that should do us okay until a little bit later. Let's go ahead and pick up our. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and pick up our uh, workbench for now and proceed on getting a, f a little bit of this iron while we're down here. But yeah, this is easily going to be a good spot for these. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta. Oh, there it goes. No problem. That's what we made an extra for. We need to bring our torches out. But yeah, in all seriousness, I mean, free rails, you know, we'll take them. And some gold, and it looks like, ooh, look at all this. That spider sound is creeping me out. Poisonous spiders really suck. No, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. I knew I heard you. Uh oh. That ain't good. Almost fell off the edge there. Skeleton now. More iron. Oh, I knew it. I heard the footsteps. Still scared the Jesus out of me. Let's grab this iron right quick. Well, I wish we would have found this place with a little bit more inventory space. But I think I'm going to grab a little bit of this coal. Just in case. Uh, plus some more track right there. Very well. I will take you as well. Gotta be careful in these areas. Oh, what was that? Is that a zombie? No, that was a spider. Okay. Coast is clear there. I really want that gold. I guess that's how I'm gonna have to go get it there. Creeper over there, a couple of creepers actually. Alright. Now I'm feeling a little bit safer than I was. So much iron and stuff, y'all. There's a lot of iron right there that I'd like to get. I guess the safest way would just be here. Oh, that spider is really, really creeping me out right there. What was the arm that I just saw? Did I cover it up? No, there it is. Looks like I'm going to have to kind of maneuver my way over there. It's going to be a little hard to get due to its, uh, due to its placement in there. Maybe I can just go in from the side like this. Yeah. That should be fine. Cool. Good little vein of it here. There we go. Very nice. You have been worrying me too long. There we go. Get our grub on right quick, and what is down there? Uh, I don't want to get away from this mine shaft. Do not want to get away from that. Oh, that's water. I don't think that goes to any more mine shaft. Okay. Let's come out a little bit and then go right back up. Please, no skeletons. Creeper, zombie. Zombie, there's more over there that I'd like to check out for sure. But I think I'm gonna take that route instead. Well, it's not a route. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, did I come down here? Yeah, I must have. Yep, I sure did. 
Okay, no worries. What about down here? Oh, not good. All right. Safe for the moment. Looks like some track. Gotta get that. This is gonna help immensely when we get to the railroad project. I know iron stretches pretty well, but that's one of the... It's gonna be such a large project. We're gonna need all the rail we can get. There we go. How many we got so far? You see, passively getting like that 42 rails. That's, that's good stuff. Very pleased with it. Oh. Not a torch. Hit him with your sword, sucker. <laughs> right, I hear lava around, too. Looks like a little bit of iron. Make sure nothing falls on my head. I'm notorious for getting complacent when I see minerals and just start digging away like a retard. And I don't want to kill myself with all this stuff on me. And I know I'm not being too systematic with this, guys, but, well, call me excited. <laughs> I'm just going wherever, wherever the loot takes me. Okay. So we come back down here, and let's go where it's dark. How about that? Dark is fun. Looks like a dead end. Uh, at least there's some iron at the end of the tunnel for me. Oh, so far it's been an excellent run for iron, y'all. Be nice if we can bring some diamonds home. Because we're kind of low on those, but we can always mine for those. Where, where'd that come from? There? Hmm. Oh. Is it up top right there? Oh, there you are. I see you now. Okay, is this a dead end? Yes. Okay. Oh well. No worries. Let's find... Oh, man. Skeletons here are ridiculous. Okay. Oh, gold. Man, I'm glad I saw that. Gold is powered rails, you know? Every little bit helps. Um, I hate to be a resource for you guys, but that is what I'm here for. Maybe some of this I'll just zoom through for y'all since... I've seen it before, and if we get to a good spot, naturally, I'll, uh, I'll pop back in and show y'all. So, wow, look at this vein. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we'll start that now and get out of this hole, and, uh, well, let's let the adventures begin. Terribly snowy. Oh, dude, there's something up there in that cave. Is that... Christ almighty, it's a creeper.
All right, you guys. We have been down here long enough. I'm approaching the probably about the hundred. I'm a little over 150 iron right now, and among other things, we have to get out of here. Run a little low on food. Uh, down to one stone pick. Um, I could do another pick, but I really don't think I'm gonna need to. I just need to get out of here. The uh, the plan was to come down here and get some iron. And gosh knows I got it, but as you can see, my torches are running very slim too, and. Since we're on our way to the surface anyway, it shouldn't be bad. So I just need to get the heck out of here. I'm hearing all kind of stuff going on around me, but I think I'm almost out. Yeah, there it is. Here we go. Is it night? Is it day? What is it? Looks like it's just turning day. Where are we? Maybe the mountain range where the swamp was at behind the station. Let's pull out our compass and see where we're going here. Looks like this way to the Sunset Station. I got all kind of stuff going on out here, but we're it's daytime. It should be safe. This flat stuff, I've never seen this before. Crazy looking. Wow. This is this is pretty radical. <laughs> Well, cool, you guys. Well, it looks like I made it to safety, folks. With 150 iron to boot, this is this is a real good, and almost a 64 stack of rails. Very nice haul, guys. And uh, now we kind of have an idea where another ab abandoned mine shaft is. It uh, when I as soon as I get to the station, I'll kind of know how to get back in the future. Not necessarily get back there, but. We saw the weird foundation formations in the, the mountains, and uh, that's enough of a landmark. You know, I'm sure we'll find many more where that come from. Golly, it seems like it's really, really far. We must have traveled a good bit away from it. Should be getting those for arrows, but no big deal. There's some pine trees up ahead. Yeah, we're approaching the station now. That's the telltale sign, is the pine trees. I doubt that we went that, that far past that. I'll tell you what I'll do here. Because I'm just going to jump up on this hill and check out where we're at. Make sure we're safe. Yep, here's the snow. Oh wow, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, here's the ice. It looks like we're pretty much home free, you guys. Ocelots everywhere with no jungle. That still kind of intrigues me, but... No matter. The important thing is we are just about home free. I know I saved my spawn point. Or at least I thought I saved my spawn point. Hope it's not taking me anywhere that I shouldn't be going. Or too far out the way. So those are both real concerns. Huh? There's no way we went that far. This has got to be taking us back towards base. That's the only thing I can see that it would be. I sure hope I don't see any track or anything though. This can't be taking us to a space. Oh wait, there's the track there. Okay. Much better. Now that I can see where we're at. Oh what the heck? Yeah, this had to be taking us all the way back, you guys. Huh. We'll see. Shouldn't be that much longer wherever we're going. Oh wow, that's all clay. Shoot, I am like chock full 
of stuff. Uh, we gotta get it while we're here. And, oh yeah, look, the Mason's Guild. <laughs> Looks like we made it back. Oh, I thought I had saved my spawn point elsewhere, but hey, we'll take it. We are safe. That's what counts. Oh, well, you guys. Well, I guess that's it. We are safe and sound, and I'm not going to bore y'all to tears just by collecting this clay. I'm going to do this off screen, but I uh, just wanted to thank y'all again for watching. I really appreciate your viewership. I know I always say that, but I really do. I hope you enjoyed these last two installments of the Cobblestone Chronicles caving. <laughs> and um, be sure to check us out uh, in a couple days again when we do... Uh, when we do another episode. So until then, guys, this is Zul'jin signing off, and have a good day.